Hey guys, Proper English here. So I've been getting a lot of requests. People are asking me to teach how to build a divider in Minecraft, how to do division with redstone. And so I thought, well, why not? So this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial series and we're gonna take it one step at a time. The thing is you're gonna need to know a bunch of things before we get started. Because like I said, this is a bit more advanced. It's not incredibly difficult, but you need to have a good foundation before you can get into this because we are getting into a, uh, a bit more complexity here. And so things you're gonna need to know, you're gonna need to know binary, you're gonna need to know two's complement, how to do addition and subtraction, and you're gonna need to know multiplex. I think that pretty much covers everything. I'm going to put links in the description to all of those concepts. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments, send me a PM, I will get back to you and I will help you learn this. So let's get started. All right, so today we're going to start off by doing a binary division problem. In fact, that's gonna be the whole video today. We're not gonna get into any redstone. Right now, we're just going through the steps that we're going to be building later. So the algorithm we're using is called conditional subtraction. Now this is the same algorithm that you run in your head when you're doing a long division problem with pen and paper and with decimal, right, in the decimal system. And we're just doing this in binary and we're setting up a circuit that does it for us. So we don't have to do the steps in our head, the circuit knows what to do. And there are more complex ways to do division that are used in real life but we're gonna be focusing on this conditional subtraction algorithm because it's something you're familiar with and it's a lot more straightforward to build in Minecraft. All right, so in our first step, what we're gonna to try to do is we're going to try subtracting our divisor from the fourth bit of our dividend. So we're starting to shift the divisor in and perform subtraction. And if this subtraction gives us a positive number, we would put a one up here. And the question we're asking is, does the divisor go into the dividend at least eight times? And we're asking that because the fourth bit has a value of eight. And so if we can subtract our divisor from the fourth bit and get a value that's positive, that means that the divisor can be subtracted from our dividend at least eight times, all right? And of course, in this case, we get a negative result, right? So when we're subtracting our two from one, we're gonna get negative one. And so we put a zero up here for our quotient, and that's fine. We know that we can't subtract two from 10 eight times. So what we're gonna do is we're going to shift the divisor over one. All right, so now that we've shifted our divisor one to the right, we're asking a new question. We're asking, can we subtract our divisor from the dividend at least four times? And of course, now we can. So you can see that over here, we're subtracting two from two. That gives us a zero, so that is not negative. And because that's not negative, we're going to put a one up here, and that says that two goes into 10 at least four times. And so now we pull down this bit from the dividend and we're going to shift our divisor one more to the right. All right, so now we know that two can be subtracted from 10 at least four times. What we're going to ask in this step is can we subtract two from 10 another two times on top of that four for a total of six times? And of course the answer is no. And we see that because when we try to subtract our two from this one up here, we get a negative one again. And so we put a zero up in our quotient and that's fine. We're going to pull down this next zero and we're gonna shift our divisor over one more. So now the final question we're going to ask is, can we subtract two from 10 one more time on top of that four for a total of five times? And of course the answer is yes. We can subtract our two over here from this two up here and we get a zero. That would be our remainder. So we have a remainder zero. And because we could perform that subtraction and not get a negative number, we're going to put 
a 1 up here in the 1 bit and we get our answer of 5 or 0, 1, 0, 1. If this guy over here were a 1 instead of a 0, we'd be doing a subtraction of 2 from 3 up here, a 1, 1, and we'd end up with a remainder of 1. All right, so not too bad. All right, so we've completed the first step of learning how to do division with redstone. And as I'm sure you can see, this is exactly the same as how you would do division with pen and paper. If you were doing long division, this is what you'd be doing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not terrible. We're going to get into some redstone next time, and we're going to learn how to build the basic unit of the divider called a conditional subtractor. All right, and I think once we do that, you'll start to understand what conditional subtraction means a bit more. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, ask me in the comments, send me a PM. I am happy to answer them because it'll be cool to learn how to do this. Division is not something that a ton of people have done in Minecraft, so if you learn how to do it, you're going to be one of the few people who can, and that's pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.